Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some new showdown cards to review today. We're going to review Alonzo first and then we're going to have Mariano next. And then we have uh, the rest of the team of the seasons that we're going to try to review as well. But for now, we're going to be taking a look at the showdown Alonzo card. So we're taking a look at a card that is a left mid player. Because uh, they play 3 4 3 in real life, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, six foot two, high low work rates, left footed, three star skills with a three star weak foot. So right off the bat, uh, when it comes to a card like this, you are looking for a uh, potential increase in his stats from the uh, tie against Real Madrid, right? If he gets increased in specific stats, he could be really nice. But even on full 10 chemistry as a Chelsea left back, right, you are working with a pretty decent card to have in that position, except for the high low work rates in regards to being a player that can push forward and come back consistently. Maybe we're going to see what that's like in game, obviously, right? But with this card, in-game player traits, he has a long shot taker, not important. In-game pace, he's at 93 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. So with the anchor being applied to the card with a potential upgrade, could definitely be very nice for this Marcus Alonso card. Base card stats for shooting, 87 attacking positioning, 80 for finishing, but he does have 95 for shot power, 87 long shots, 86 volleys. It's not bad, to be honest. Um, I am going to use him in his original position in a three at the back formation. Probably going to play with like a three-five-two or something and see how that kind of works out. Um, base card stats for passing, obviously very good on this card as well. Uh, with dribbling, I do think I am going to notice it with this card because he is a high and average plus body type player. Uh, with the dribbling stats that he has, it's definitely going to be interesting to work with. But in that left mid position... You kind of want to have players that are a little bit more responsive, but I'm curious to see what it's going to be like because of the ball control and reactions being in a pretty decent area, but I still feel like it could potentially be sluggish. We'll see. Uh, base card stats for defending. The only thing that's kind of low on it is defensive awareness, which, again, isn't really necessarily a huge issue uh, because with this card's defensive stats on an anchor chemistry style, uh, they do improve quite a bit of the card stats in the important areas of defense. Uh, with, with physical stats, base card stats wise, he's at 97 for stamina, 81 for strength. With the anchor chemistry style, we are going to also be increasing that as well. I would say most of the times, guys, that if this card doesn't get upgraded, I would probably just give him a shadow chemistry style because pace is more relevant than anything in this game. Uh, this is a type of card, right, where you complete if you know, you can actually line them up in that left mid position with some sort of Spanish link from the Premier League or whatever it is uh, to be able to get him playing in that left back position. Or you actually want to use him as a left mid with the potential, right, of giving him an engine chemistry style with some sort of uh, boost in the other areas. I know what you're thinking. Don't you dare do it, guys. I know what you're going to think, okay? I know. I could, I could smell it, okay? I could smell it. But... We're going to be trying him out with the anchor chemistry style first to see how he plays in game. So, uh, with the way that this team is formatted, what we're going to actually do is line up with a three at the back. Because I could probably start it off like this, to be honest. Um, okay, so Rodri will have here. Hyungmin Sun. Uh, okay, so we'll have Alonso playing in that position. And then we're going to have... We're going to have Aguero up top. Hyungmin Sun. I'm going to switch that there. Make sure that's over here. Switch that over here. Juan Basaka, we're going to change out for Mares? Uh, yeah, we'll put Mares there. Why not? Actually, no, we have Hyungmin Sun. What am I saying? We'll do that. Uh, we'll use Patrick Bam Bamford up top too. Why not? Why not? And then we'll just switch out uh, Maris for Lucas Mora, Lo Celso in the middle. Okay, cool. So we'll use the formation exactly like this. Uh, the custom tactics, we could do some crazy stuff. So press after possession loss, long ball, uh, players in the box set to high because Alonso's going to be making those crosses. We'll do this on get in behind, get in behind, switch some things here and there. Rodri here, Ake okay, in. Side position, shot over here. Sun will be playing. Oh. We got it, guys. Don't worry. The switch will come. The switch will come. Lucas Mora. And then Luke Shaw over here. Patrick Bamford up top. Both of them on getting behind, stay forward. Okay, cool. Let's try this out. See how he plays. Uh, I want to put come back on the fence and get in behind. Yes, that's perfect. These guys will be like this. CDM will also be like that, and perfect. Lucas Moran, stay forward. 
Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, ultra defensive. Let's go see what he's like. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. I mean, we're facing a pretty decent back five. Curtis Jones and Ronaldo Sanchez as well. It's probably, it looks like a... What is that? Like a 4-2-3-1, I guess? I don't know how he's going to line that up. 5-3-2, imagine. All right, first and foremost, let me see what his dribbling is like. Guys, to be honest, if you line him up in that left-back position, it's not bad to have there. Nice little first touch right there, too. Yeah, so you see that he actually stops tracking back in that situation because we're using somebody else in that area now. But with the high-low work rates, guys, if he has a comeback in defense instruction, that actual left-mid position, he'll actually come back. That initial acceleration was not great. We're going to work for the uh, side space here now. Let's see what his pace is like under pressure here. Oh, make that pass. Touch. Driven cross. Ah. We try to get it off right there. Initial acceleration is definitely not crazy good with this card. Uh, and that's obvious because of the body type being high in average plus with the base dribbling stats and base acceleration. Comes back into position really nicely. Marks that guy the entire time, to be fair. We're going to transition back on the attack over here. Nice tackle right there. Not too bad. Chase after again. We're going to collect that ball. Get him on the attack. First time pass. Not bad. Does he push forward here with the high low work rates? Yeah, he does actually. Okay. We got space all the way at the bottom over here. A pretty decent cross. Aguero's not really that aggressive type on the uh, crosses, but... Okay, so I'm just going to control this guy in the middle over here. Watch Marcus Alonso the whole time. Switch to Luke Shaw. Switch back here. So you can see the high-low work rates. He's not going to be like crazy consistent at coming back. He's probably going to act more like a, like a high-medium, if anything. Yeah, his dribbling is, um, it's rough to work with. It is a card that you want to mostly use in the left-back position, for sure. If you can get him on that full 10 chemistry. There it is. Try a shot there, but I should have uh, done a shot cancel. I mean, honestly, if I was actually able to switch to Bamford right there, I would have actually maybe have scored the header. To be fair, with, uh, with I was about to call him Shabby Alonso, as if. Um, with Alonso, Alonso's card, guys, you could potentially use him as your more attacking-oriented CDM because of how big he is, right? Like, he actually wouldn't be bad defensively. Like, if you're starting him off as a leftman, you plan to use him as one of your CDMs in a team, it's definitely possible to do. Yeah, see, he's a really big guy, right? So defensively, he'll be nice because of that. Yeah, big dude for the uh, defensive stuff there. The thing about this card, guys, is that if he gets upgraded in the future, um, even on 7 chemistry, a shadow chemistry style could still be really good. So if you actually want to start him off as a left back with that upgrade, uh, it could still be a decent card to use there. Again, it's pretty nice that he is as big as he is defensively. Because he could even make a good center back depending on... Uh, the stats that they improve him with. Like, even right now, he'd be okay, but... Oh, Aguero. Yeah, Aguero's not great in the air. You want to have, like, a Cristiano Ronaldo there for you to be able to hit those. First time strike from there. Touch. <laughs> He's only gone and scored on his debut match from an absolutely terrible, undeserving goal from a terrible angle. Welcome to FIFA. Let's go, Marcus. Let's go, BB. He's got the shooting to be able to score that. Let's go. Yeah, he's got the physical presence for those as well. Uh, you know what, guys? For me, like, 
I definitely wouldn't recommend this card in the left mid position, for sure. You need a little bit more of a good attacking presence. Um, but as a person that you could potentially line up in your defensive positions... Do I get the pass out there? No. Uh, as a person you could line up in your defensive positions, he has the body type, right? He has really good defending attributes because he's so big, it's really hard to pass a card like this. Like, it wouldn't be bad to use in, that, in those defensive areas. It's just the attack, you know? Like, 3-star, three 3-star three makes him kind of linear. Um, like, even when I have the ball there with Sun, like, in some situations, and I even have, like, get into the box with the cross for Alonso, um, he's not the type of guy that's going to always make those runs in behind the defense, even if I have, like, crazy uh, tactics, um, you know, because of the high low work rates that he has. I would assume that he would attack more, but, you know. With uh, Alonso, I would definitely say, guys... Left back CDM position maybe as well. I actually want to try him out as a CDM. I want to see how he plays there with the high low work rates because this is on stay back while attacking. So yeah, I try a first time shot with, right there. Try out his base card stats for shooting. See what it's like. There we go. Nice job, Alonzo. We will take that. Nice defensive challenge there. Another good defensive challenge. We could have got that ball there, but Bamford's a little bit sluggish to do that. Hyungmin Sun, the team of the season beast. All right, guys, so final vert on Alonso's card. So it really depends on if Chelsea actually ends up winning the second leg. But with uh, Alonso's card, uh, we gave him the anchor chemistry style to boost his pace, defending, and physical as much as possible. In my opinion, when it comes to you completing this card... Uh, right now, an anchor chemistry cell on 10 chemistry in the left back position, the card will actually be okay to use there, right? Because he's got decent pace, his physicality is massive because he's a six foot two player with a high and average plus body type, and defensive stats are pretty solid, right? His reach uh, for certain tackles is definitely really nice. You can use him as a CDM if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it because of the high low work rates, although it is possible because of how big he is. It is a possibility for you guys to actually. Uh, work with uh, another thing with this Alonzo card is that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to line up in five of the back formations. So what they're going to do is they're probably going to line up with Alonzo in some sort of team where he gets that link to somebody else in like a four five one or something. And people will actually probably use this card in center back position because high low work rates guys in a five of the back formation when it's your left center back in that position um, is not necessarily that big of a nuisance because of the other defenders that you have on the pitch, right? So it just really depends on how you want to line up with this card in game. If you want to line him up in a defensive way, that's great. I wouldn't recommend him as a left mid. Even if he gets the upgrade with the engine chemistry style, he just feels very generic to use in the attack because of the three-star, three-star capability, right? But in the defensive position, you are looking at a decent card. If he doesn't end up getting upgraded in general, I would honestly just give him a shadow chemistry style on 10 chemistry and use him in the defensive positions or even on the seven chemistry i would also use him on the shadow chemistry style to base uh, to boost the pace as much as possible and use him in that left back or center back position 